So in this video, we're gonna show you some weird, like non-traditional RV things, but we use them for RV life pretty much every day. So first on the list are actually these collapsible funnels. Now, I'm telling you why that I have these in just a few minutes, but first, anything collapsible in an RV is your friend. So I picked these up on Amazon. There'll be a, a link below. Super inexpensive, not sponsored, paid for these. And I'm gonna show you a really important use for these just a little bit later in the video. All right, so next on the list, you gotta get you one of these. This is called the Water Bandit. And what this does is this helps you get water to your RV if you are in an area where you have a water spigot that is actually not threaded. Now we actually ran into this when we were RVing up at Yellowstone and in a national forest area. There was a water spigot just kind of for the whole campground where you could go fill your water, but there wasn't water at the campsite. Well, guess what? We had a long enough hose that if we would have had one of these with us, we would have been able to easily get water to the RV. So this just slips over your spigot area where it's not threaded, and then you can connect your hose to the other end. Now here's the deal. We like to make pancakes, waffles, all sorts of things that require the use of a whisk. But if you haven't noticed RV drawers, there's just not a lot of space in there. So this whisk actually twists and becomes a whisk or it can lay flat, which means it's really easy to put away in those RV drawers. All right, so next up on the list is another thing that I found on Amazon somewhat recently, and that is this bag holder for recyclables. I personally like to recycle whenever and wherever I can, and finding recycling at campgrounds is sometimes easier, sometimes it's not. But either way, I do like to separate out our recyclables because if they don't have recycling at that campground, I will even take stuff with us into the next stop where I can find recycling or a local recycling center. Here's the deal. What we have been doing most of the time is literally just like taking some painter's tape or a paper bag and just setting it down and it falls down. Anyway, this is a huge solution because this easily sets up a bag. You could put your recyclables in it and then just take them out or take them with you. All right, so next on the list are battery powered rechargeable fans. Now these come in handy in a lot of different areas in an RV. The kids use them in their bed areas just for white noise, for some extra ventilation, but also it's a great way where you could take these on the go. So if you were going to maybe be outside and you just wanted some air movement or something like that because they are battery operated, and you can just unplug them and take them with you. So another kind of like weird tool that's not really like an RV tool, but we have used time and time again for RV living is a portable air compressor. Now this particular type of air compressor being portable, you just connect it up to your battery bank and you've got the power that you need. Now, because this is a heavy duty one, which is what we use and recommend, you can do things like even air up your RV tires, which have a lot of pressure in them. So you want a heavy duty type of model. Model. But the other thing is, is it comes with several different accessories so you can air up your car tires. You can even do things like we had to do most recently and connect it up to blow things out like when we got water in our water heater tubing and we had to blow that out to clear it out to get it to work properly again. So the next thing on the list that it's just kind of a non-traditional thing, is a headlamp. Now, we keep one right up here because it's right by the door as you go out. You just never know, like even if you have to take the trash down to the dumpster at the RV park, this is a really handy thing to be able to just see or if you need to be able to get out and it's night and you're traveling, 
Just one of those things, kind of an essential. Now, another great non-RV specific product that I love for RVing are these laundry sheets from Earth Breeze, which is the sponsor of this video. Now, Earth Breeze is a laundry detergent that looks like a dryer sheet, but has all the power of a liquid detergent without the mess or waste. And I like these for RVing because they're a more convenient option than liquid or pods. With the smaller washer dryer unit in our RV, I can easily tear the sheets in half to be able to use just just the right amount of laundry detergent. Just half a sheet is all I need since Earth Breeze Eco Sheets are ultra concentrated, liquidless, and designed to care for the earth as much as they care for your clothes. And they're better for sensitive skin too. There's no unnecessary chemicals for a formula that is sensitive to skin of all ages, including babies. The laundry sheets dissolve quickly in water and in any type of machine, including our smaller RV size unit. I also love doing what I can to reduce plastic waste and use since finding recycling at campground is no easy task. I feel so much better about using Earth Breeze for our laundry soap since I don't have to worry about any plastic jugs or bags. You can get started by going to earthbreeze.com slash grateful glamper to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash grateful glamper for 40% off your subscription. And if you decide to go back to your old stuff, you get a full refund on your Earth Breeze purchase, no questions asked. And a huge thanks to Earth Breeze for sponsoring this video. This is definitely not your typical RV gadget tool, whatever, but that is a multimeter. Now, I cannot tell you how many times we have been able to quickly diagnose, fix things like that on the fly because we've got little gadgets like this. And we've also been equipped with some knowledge from our friends over at the National RV Training Academy with the owner's course specifically for RVers. We'll put some information in the description below on that so you can learn more. But needless to say, multimeter, definitely want to keep one of these in the RV. All right, so next up on the list is some Eternabon tape. Now, this is absolutely a must have. We have used this so many times to just get ourselves out of glitches. And most recently, when we discovered a hole in one of our basement compartments, I'll put a link right up here if you wanna watch more on that. But this is something you want to have with you. It's very, very sticky. This is gonna get you out of a bind if you accidentally put a hole in your roof, put a hole really anywhere that you need a watertight seal. So absolute must have. If a turn on doesn't fix it, Gorilla Tape will. <laughs> All right, so next up on the list are some portable water jugs. Now we've opted for these collapsible ones because they're really easy to store and put out of the way. But if you plan on doing any boondocking at all, or if you maybe find yourself in a scenario where you want to boondock, it's just a good idea to have some of these on hand so that you can get water from town, wherever that you're going, and then bring it back and fill the RV. These were a invaluable resource when we were boondocking for the Oshkosh Air Show because we were able to go get water and everybody could stay showered. Another reason I got these collapsible funnels is because when we were in Oshkosh, we had to like makeshift a way to get the water from here to here because we didn't have a funnel. So specifically why I got these, see, it's going just great. Yep. It's going just great. It's gonna take you like all day long. No, it won't. Look at, look at how fast it's going. You had it filled up like a quarter full, though. So. And now it's down to like an eighth. Yeah, five hours later. No. So these actually come in a set with different sizes. So there's actually one that's just slightly larger than this. This is just the one that I grabbed for this particular demonstration. But it's nice to have different sizes for different uses. So here is one non-RV related item that we recently installed on our Ford Expedition here, and that is lights all around. So we put in LED lights, uh, tail lights, reverse lights, and they are way brighter, and they're from Morimoto, as well as my favorite thing, and that is HID headlights. Before, they came with the amber lights that were very dim, and you couldn't hardly see anything. Now, I feel a lot safer driving with these bright white HID headlights that increase visibility so much. I absolutely love them. I will put a link in the description below where you can check out those. They have whole housings you can put in that are super easy to install. Trudy has been taking a lot of whisks, whisks lately. Hey, easy there, <laughs> big shooter. I feel like a miner. 
going into the coal mines. Sitting on all sorts of stuff. Those are amazing. Oh. You're, you're getting a little ADD Love here. I feel like I should turn it on. I got nothing to say. <laughs> Next, we're gonna show you some RV mods that nobody knows about. And that's right up here.